Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what's the most important, bottom line, critical thing happening on this planet. Today on This Is Important. You know a good cucumber, I know a good cucumber. Difference is, you don't know the chicken. And I woke up having pissed myself in the driver's seat outside of a gun store. Am I hungry? Yes. Am I going to eat? No. But when I do, it's going to be super healthy. Yes, I am. I OD'd on Quaaludes when I was two. Buckle up. Well, I walked outside today and I had a, this is a weird thing. I had a ticket on my car. What? And I was like, mm. hey, bummed about this. This is going to ruin my D. Yeah. But then out of nowhere, the little police officer lady who was standing behind my car, she's like, oh, is this your car? And I go, ready to swing on her, being like, yeah? What's it to you, lady? And she goes, oh, I'll erase the ticket. It was already written. It was already on my windshield. You know how when you've gotten tickets in the past? They always say you can't undo it. Always say they can't undo it. They're like, they they hit their little machine, and they're like, oh, I've already printed it. I can't unprint it. And you're like, well, they've already printed it. I guess they can't unprint it. So now we know that they've been lying to us forever. Unless we've recently gotten some new tech that now they can undo it. Why did she undo it? I have no idea. She was just like, yeah, I was wondering if uh, if this was your uh, car, if, if this was, uh, you know, the person that lived here's car, they should know to move it in. I'm like, ah, I'm sorry. I, ca- I totally forgot that it was street sweeping day. And she she's like, yeah, no sweat. And just undid it. She goes, you can just rip that ticket up. Wow. So. Wow. Yeah. I bet that is a tech thing. I pro- probably back in the day, or they were lying, but it could be per- very well be a tech. They thing. were lying. They, they for were lying. sure they were lying. For sure they were lying. That's the perfect excuse. I can't. It's already in the system. Oh, because the quota. As soon as you hear like the system, you're like, oh yeah. Yeah, you're like, oh, it is the system. It's because the quotas, the quotas. Have you guys ever uh, gotten out of a ticket or gotten in more? Of a ticket, if that makes sense. Uh, I've never gotten out of one. <laughs> got arrested. Got arrested for an altercation. Yeah, I I only, I've only gotten pulled over like twice for not coming to a complete stop on a right turn at a stop sign. You know what I mean? How you kind of like oh, yeah. creep and then you just go. We call that a, twice. That's my. They call that a California roll. Yeah, we called it a California roll too in uh, Nebraska. And we were like, yeah, in California, they don't know how to fucking drive. That's what's up. <laughs> Why do they call it a California roll? And then I'm like, well, we were doing it there, though. I don't know. Because California's cr- You come out here from Chicagoland, and back home for a yellow light, you slow down. In L.A., you fucking gun damn it. Damn right. Oh, because time is money in California, dude. Oh, dang. Racket. That's on. That's that Tupac. That's what's up. Oh, the laid back... That's what's up. The left coast, you got to be somewhere, huh? Hell yeah. That's that Tupac attitude. Fucking shore break or something's going on. You got to get there. Time is money, baby. Hollywood lives here, all right? We, yeah, we don't <laughs> stop at those lights. Hollywood's dead. Oh. Whoa. Strong. Hollywood's dead. Kill him. Oh, yeah. He's been wanting to get... Go ahead. Go ahead. You've been wanting to talk about this. Let's go. Come on. Oh, because yeah. you know what? I know they eat uh-huh. babies. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. They're dead to I'm me. I'm pissed now. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> They're back. Hey, isn't the California roll sushi as well? It yeah. is. <laughs> that's so, awesome. Yes, I think that's the play on words that they're all having fun out there with. It's the it's the most easily, it's what you ease into sushi with as a California roll, and it's also what you ease into reckless driving with. Mm. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's why yeah, it's a it's gateway. A gateway. <laughs> yeah, the California roll is a gateway uh, drug. Next thing you know, you're doing 75 in the school zone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're driving into In and Out Burgers. You're you're hot boxing, going 75 in the school zone. I don't Oof. stop. Dangerous man. Uh, Dangerous. That's a ticket right there. Wait, is the wait is the California roll? That's not like the cream cheese ass one, right? No, 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 no. That's the Philly. No, Jesus. Yeah, that one's wacky. Oh damn, Philly roll. <laughs> that one's crazy. Yeah, Philly. Yeah, that's all. I feel like the California roll got imitation crab and veggies. It doesn't need to be imitation. It doesn't need to be. Oh, oh it can, can be real crab. It usually is. Don't people like that's imitation prob- crab more than crab? You know what? That's probably the California of it all is it's fake. 
All right. So. Oh, Hollywood, baby. Okay, Hollywood's dead. Hollywood. Oh, like those fake people smoking mirrors. Hollywood's dead. I'd rather not have Hollywood effects in my sushi, okay? Yeah, give me that organic crab meat. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for that real deal. What the fuck? Quick is question, boys. Yeah, mm -hmm. Quick question. Mm -hmm. What did we call the male Karen? Did we call it a Kyle? We I feel like it, it down a Kyle. Yeah, I thought it was a Kyle. Because guess what happened to me two days ago? You got Kyled? Mm. At the fucking park, I got Kyled. What? Oh, shoot. Why, why do we have to do this? Why do we have to do this when I'm here? It it's was... just, it's, it's not you. Well, no, it's not, it's not you. You're not a Kyle. I say yeah. you're not a Kyle. Like, your parents misnamed you. I thought we settled on Chad. I thought we settled on Chad, by the way. Hey, Chad's a good one, but Kyle has that. Chad works. If you guys yeah. are cool with it, I would appreciate if we just called him a Chad. While I'm here, I, uh, I so this Kyle, so this Kyle roll. Let me just tell you my Kyle story. This is rough. Okay, mm -hmm. rough for me. So I'm at the park. It's just the hard K. It's the consonants, Kyle. It's my whole name. It's on my birth certificate. I can't fucking. It's the K. It's the K K K. Yeah, just deal with what? it. What? Just That's, deal with it. What about it? Just okay, it's a fine. shitty sound. So fine, fine. I'm changing my name. Charles Javacek. Thank you. My name is Charles Javacek from here on out. That makes Thank sense. You. That's how I um, always spoke of you anyways. Mr. Java, check to you, bitch. Okay. Hey, Charles. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. So Java, check to you, bitch. <laughs> I'm at the park here in Los Angeles, right and on. I'm with uh, my kids. We're with a, another Dang, dude. two families in our pod and their kids. Dang, and rub it in. The bubble. This is like our bubble, right? Nice. The moms always check in where you've been, who you've been with, Ooh. where you've been traveling, yada, yada, yada. We're locked in. And they oh find a pile of dirt, and the kids are all playing on it. It's whatever. Like and then do. dirt piles. This, How big is the dirt pile? Big, big like construction dirt pile. Yeah, it's like a it's like a dump that like they're gonna they're gonna level out later. The a dump truck left there. Uh, so that's awesome. That. You guys are like the old school parents who are like, yeah, there's some mud. Go play in that. <laughs> I respect that. Yeah, Jersey. Yeah, that's tight. Little we mini keep, mountain. We keep it like that. I like yeah. That. Um. So then like this little dude, little guy. You know, like maybe two or three comes over. And all, by the way, we're all masked. Even We're outside, but like we're playing and it's masked. Because who fucking cares? You just wear a mask. And this little dude comes over, no mask. And like grandma's with him. And uh, she's got on a mask. And like, we don't give a fuck. Little dude's on his side. It's fine. He's like 10 feet apart on this mud thing. Um, and then dad rolls up oh damn and he's kyle jacked he's mm. six five with like some brokley's on like gas station oakley style uh Ooh. and just uh i got i'm gonna score some of those i've been Broke on the prowl days. actually but yes they're awesome yeah um and he's just surveying the situation and then the little man you know he doesn't know but he comes over and starts like really getting in the grill of all the kids and look Wait, the little, the little man, the the tiny kid, the little dude, the little kid, the little little two year old, little two year old, no mask. Oh, okay, okay, not a man, yeah. child. He comes over, little man. He little comes man, over child. and he's just like playing and like really in the grill of all our pod kids, and p parents in my pod are like, ah, what are, are we supposed to do something? Right. I'm like, I'll Push go. Him. It's not. Yeah, we'll just let's <laughs> let's just say hi and like, can we get some space? So I go to the grandma. <laughs> And I'm like, hey, does he have a mask? And she's like, oh, we left it uh, in the car. I'm like, would you mind like e either yeah. having him play on the other side of the dirt hill or like going to get the mask? Like, no big deal. What'd you say, man? Oh, what do you, what, what's the what's the problem? Oh, and I'm man. like, and then and he deliberately rolls up on me like hella close. He's six five. He's got to be two sixty, and he's jacked. And I'm like. First of all, just like step back a little bit because uh, the whole thing is that we're just we're trying to keep a little distance from each other. And he goes, what, what here? Fucking this, this here. And I'm like, yeah, we're just if you guys don't have masks, can we just move? He goes, man, this is too bad. And I go, yeah, I know it's too bad. He goes, no, it's too bad. We're not leaving. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and I'm like, OK, look, we're, we're just and then his mom, grandma is like, no, it's fine. Like we should go. And he was, he's like, no. And he like starts getting heated. And I'm like, am I about to get beat up in front of my kids <laughs> and my neighbors and shit? That would be so funny. 
if you if you just got your ass kicked by this I'm man, now. I know. And I'm like, yo, I don't make the rules. I'm just saying, like. And he goes, and the mom, the grandma's like, let's just go. She's pulling she's like, away, and he's just chill. like, it, he's like, yeah, let's get out of here. It's too fucking liberal here. And I'm like, oh damn, dude, what are we doing? I'm just trying to play by the rules, trying to be smart, trying to keep your kid healthy. Like, you don't know where my kid, my kid's been, right? Like, that's the, no, that's my play. I'm saying, if I ever got approached by like a weird masker person i'd be like you don't understand sir i have covid yeah right. that's the move is you you need to you need to step away from me but then you go like then go home what are you doing out but anyway right. i'm, I'm just keeping it real he wouldn't he wouldn't draw that line and he's backing no that's when you he'd be like respect dog he's backing away <laughs> and he's fucking getting rip shit foaming at the mouth as his like mom is like it's fine let's I'm go pissed now. and the little two-year-old is i'm not like i'm like yo Dude, you got some issues. Man, that's a that's a bummer. Like we're all out here. Everybody's got masks on. If yeah. you're like close to people, yeah, well, I don't know. What yeah. To do. Also, what what is that? Like, why is why not just? It's called getting Kyled. Yeah, <laughs> you got Kyled. You got See, no, Kyled. Look, oh oh my god. <laughs> I'll flip back to like being a Kyle. You know, born a Kyle now, a Charles. <laughs> but I'll flip back to being a Kyle, and I have to say I do understand the rage and the aggression. Sure. Uh, uh -huh. But I once a don't... Kyle, always a Kyle. That's well, true. I'm Charles now, but but I do understand the rage <laughs> and the aggression. But I hope to you know he should be able to curb that and just like you know play by the rules when you're out in public. That's everybody's land. We're all sharing it. Wow. It's public. Come on now. There I was go. so cool about it too. I was like, hey, is it uh, you know? I'm like trying because I don't want any fucking beef. Right, nah, right. No but if right. I see no, this motherfucker, if I see this motherfucker again, he might murder me. <laughs> Damn. Ooh, yeah, you might get your ass kicked, dude. Nah, wear your big boots, bro. Wear your big boots. Yeah, I might just have to get my Uggs on. You might have to yeah. get your <laughs> ass kicked. If that dude's about to start training you in the park, and you know it. You know what, bro? I like your frame. It, you know when people give you like a, a five foot lift or, or a five finger lift up? Mm-hmm. Yep. If he did that to me as hard as he could and just went through me up, I might not come back down. <laughs> Get stuck in a tree. Yeah, when was the last time you've ever like gotten in a real fight? Like a real fight. I mean, for College. me, it's... Oh, You're not yeah. supposed to. No, I, I, to me, like it was like truly like fourth grade. Like the last time I truly was swinging on some... What are you talking about? But you fought Kyle... We talked about it on the... Yeah, but that's not a real... We, we fought for real, but that was more like... To you, Kyle was fighting for real. <laughs> well, Kyle was fighting for real. I climbed him like a... No, 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 no. That, no, you're my homie. That was the rage of a Kyle. I climbed him like a tree and held on, held on to him. I, that wasn't yeah. a real fight. I wouldn't climb a man that I'm actually fighting and, and koala clutch him. Right, yeah, anytime right. I fought any of my homies, it was either like drunk, but it was always under the fight club rules where it's like you, there is respect under the, the swings, mm. you know, where it's like I'm not really trying to hurt you. You're the only person to ever misquote the fight club rules. <laughs> Here's, here's, you know, it's under, the easiest the set club, of rules. Like, rule number one is respect. <laughs> and we all know that. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Come on, you know what I mean. Like I'm actually super surprised that yes. out of the four of us that Thank none you. of us went into like MMA training at all. Like, come on. You mean as like a celebrity style? Like, yeah, I basically uh we do a lot of knees, a lot of kicking. Yeah, like how did none of us get get down, ground and pound? I feel like I thought about boxing. Like I still kind of think about it, but that I don't have the wind. Well, thinking, sure, I thought. Whenever I, uh, like they say, uh, at this gym that I go to, the trainer is always like, okay, so what do you want to look like uh, at, at every like three months or something? He'll ask you, it would be like, what's your ideal body type? And I always show him photos of CrossFit women. Oh, right. wow. Interesting. Yeah. Because that's exactly what I'm trying to look like. The CrossFit you dudes. You got a dude. Yeah, I do have a dude. I do have a dude. Because those CrossFit dudes, they're too jacked, bro. They're too huge. They're too thick. They're too meaty. I want, I want a lean, long, slender, shredded up CrossFit chick body. Well, you like, want CrossFit like chick? Be Pit and Fight Club? That's the bod. Yeah. 
I just found what the new thing is. It's called Athlean X. Mm. Athlean X. A, it's a Tony Horton looking cat. He's on YouTube and he does wild ass workouts and he just drops them. And uh, like this video right here, I don't even know what the fuck it is. It's got 7.6 million views. Damn. Wow. That's a lot of mama mama million. Oh my God. That is a l- <laughs> Oh, baby. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, geez. I don't know. Yeah, he's got 10 million subscribers. So he all right. That's that's a lot. Hey, what did uh what did Jeff Bezos look like before he got shredded? Was he was it after and what was that timeline? Like, like a normal dude. And now he's like a fucking centurion. Hey, this is really? this right here? A picture of a yeah. of a really fit woman. Mm-hmm. Really fit woman, right. not too big. Got that that lean muscle, that that lean physique. That's what I'm trying to get. A six pack. But that that being said, last night I did eat uh, Raising Cane's. So, Ooh. oh, baby. You know, I say that, but then I also eat Raising Cane's from time to time. Ooh, I haven't had that in a minute. I love Raising Cane's. I stopped God, in Anaheim to get. I was driving home, and I was like, I was like 30 minutes away from my house, and I'm like, there is there Raising Cane's around here? And sure enough, Disney knows what's up, puts one right off mm-hmm. campus, and I swooped in there. Got got myself six chicken tenders, some Texas toast. Uh, Ooey gooey. Please be a sponsor, Raising Cane's. Please be a sponsor. <laughs> I will that. sponsor the shit mm. out of you. How's we the Texas that. toast, bomb? Oh, it's bomb, dude. Oh, that's the best part. That's the best part. Have you not had Raising Cane's? No, I don't, I don't even know what you're talking about right now, man. It's oh, that's right. Well, you don't like you, meat, so that's why I'm asking about the Texas toast. Oh my god. The Texas toast and the French fries are phenomenal. It's fire. It's yeah, fire. that's bomb. Did we have canes at Bonnaroo? Do we have canes at Bonnaroo? I had canes when I visited Adam on the set of Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect. Uh, it's a Louisiana uh, delicacy, fast food. That evidently <laughs> was it was a LSU um, like master student or something. He, he was getting his business degree, and they have to write. Uh, a business. This is how little I know about business. I have to write a thing about business. <laughs> and, this right. is really in, and intriguing he, to me. Uh, this is important. He wrote <laughs> his thesis or whatever. I did also didn't finish college, so I don't know what any of these words mean. Thesis? Sure. Main his his main thing. Yeah. Senior. It's a senior project. And he wrote it about how he wanted to start a, a chicken tender restaurant that only served chicken tenders with good fries, good. Uh, Texas toast. That's so fucking tight. And the 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 guy, his professor, was like, "That's a stupid idea." And he didn't. He like failed that class. Supposedly, that's like the the folklore. Right. They always like to say that. That's what they say about FedEx too. Well, that's the drive. That's the drive you need to start a successful business. And then and then he goes off and starts it. And God damn, son. Damn. Raising canes. So they just have tenders. There's no like drummies. No, just tens. It's just so tenders. Good. It's so good. I know that you think it's it's much like In and Out, where it's like it doesn't have a lot of choices because they just nail the one thing they do so well out the fucking park. Yeah, maybe I'm down for that. Yeah, I think that's a great business model where you know what you're good at and you just hit it and you hit it hard and you're confident in it. That's dope. I I will when when I go to these like open open what would you call it where you like point out the ingredients you want to like make your sandwich sure yeah or whatever i always end up with a soup at the end because when i'm in control and i'm super hungry or whatever i'm just like the more the merrier but it ends up being a blob of food it's garbage and then it's bad yeah Yeah. then it's bad you got to have a pro put it together have you seen Mm -hmm. those new pan express orange chicken only stands Wait a minute. Oh, what's up? Whoa, 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 what now? I'm, oh I'm fucking around, but wouldn't that be tight if it was just like oh, a, oh, okay. a little spot where it's like we just have orange flavored chicken? Oh, if it was like the fruit stands on the corner? Yeah. Have you guys seen the KFC uh, only fried skin stands? Oh my God. Dude. <laughs> I, I, I think like I told you guys like... a story. My homie John went to Brown's Chicken, which is a, a Chicago land restaurant with his homie when they were kids and my buddy John ordered some chicken stepped aside and his homie goes uh can I just get just the skin and they were like absolutely not (laughs) 
You have to order chicken and then you can pull the skin off. That has to be illegal. Yeah, you can't sell a yeah. bucket of skin. Oh my That's, god. Yeah. How high was he? How fat was he? I think they were yeah. youngsters. They were like 10 at the time and he was hungry. Oh, I was like Well, admittedly, the skin is so delicious. Who who we kidding? The skin is great. It's awesome. It's the best part, but who you got to Come on. Yeah, that's like going to we used I used to go to burger joint and just be like, "Can I get like four sides of bacon?" <laughs> and that's it. You know? <laughs> oh my god. My god. You're not thinking about your health at that point. You're just thinking about the tasty, tasty Can taste. Can I uh, get a baconator? Uh, no bun, uh, no uh, meat, yeah. no no cheese. Yeah. I will say, guys, we should start. And hey, I'm I'm willing to pitch it to you now. We should be franchisees of mm-hmm. Raising Canes. I'm gonna look into it. We're buying a Raising Canes. How many are uh, in the California area now? And hey, guess what? It's, not enough. It's already True. happened. He's taken our not money. Not enough. <laughs> Why don't we just start our own business instead of franchise something? Why don't we just come up with our own menu that's off the charts? Mm, that it's harder. Because uh, it's Raising Cane's that already it's exists. It's Raising Cane's. It's already there. We love it. IP. That's like jumping onto a well, franchise. That, I mean, yeah, that's what he just said. Yeah, it's literally <laughs> what it is. Are you Kyling us? What's happening? You? I'm just asking the question. I just like original stuff. <laughs> I'm yeah. pissed now. Hey, Kyle, and that's a good point. But see, you're vegetarian, so we're never going to agree on what should be the main thing. Well, but he's going to bring the toast yeah. thunder. Oh, what about uh, wet noodles? <laughs> Yeah, I can bring the thunder in other places. Like, you're not going to think about what I think about because you guys are Texas all going to be thinking about the meats. No, because here's the thing. We eat vegetables, too. Yeah. We eat vegetables, too. And I'm going to be handling the rest. I know a good cucumber. Yeah, I'm an everything vor. Um, you know a good cucumber? I know a good cucumber. Difference is you don't know the chicken. Motherfucker, I got some. Yeah, you don't know vegetables no more than I know vegetables. You don't you, know the chicken. I got some bomb-ass cucumber. Cucumbers growing in my backyard right now, dude. I'm fixing to have about 50 of them. I bet you do. But the thing is, is I, I partake in everything. You only partake in a small section of Get them. He eats all the food. It's a pretty big section. I just don't yeah, eat yeah. what? The meat, which is like three or four or five things. Turkey, pork. We're opening a chicken shack, beef. dude. <laughs> uh, lamb. How many meats are there? Hundreds. Hundreds of meat. Motherfucker, lots. <laughs> no, how many meats are there? There's chicken. There's pork. Mullis. There's venison. Cow. There's yeah. beef. No, there's lamb chops. What, what, are you, what are you talking about? What, any type of animal is a meat. Any animal. Where's the beef? Rabbit, duck. Yeah, but how many, how many is there? Like 10? Chicken, duck. 15 of them? There's way more. Th- every animal. Every animal. There's wild, rhino. A wild dog. Bear. Every animal is a meat. Wild you eat dog. rhino. Wild cats. Human. Have I ever eaten rhino? Are you asking if I've? So you're saying we're gonna start? I'm asking if we're gonna start a franchise that involves rhino. Well, that would be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> that is very scarce meat. Hey, I'm saying. Well, it's got. I think that would be hard to get. Yeah. That that's gonna be highly legal. Save the rhino. Like, is that what we're going to do? I don't think that's what we're going to do. All I'm saying is you just don't discount me because I don't have that part. I got all I'm saying is other taste buds. My taste buds still motherfucking work. All I'm saying is you got to go to a Raising Cane's before you shut this idea down. You're saying no to Raising Cane's. Motherfucker, you haven't tried their Texas toast. I didn't say no. I laterally was just like, what if we started our own thing? Uh, yeah, I know. And True. look. Own chicken, pickles. Maybe just try the skin. You eat the skin. You can eat the skin off the chicken, huh? I'm not eating the fucking skin, bro. Dude, eat the skin. That's not even the meat. That's just the skin. <laughs> no way, dude. Nah, <laughs> that's all right. Thank I you, though. I dare you. Just... <laughs> thank I dare you. Though. you. Hey, dude, thank you, What though. about oh, thank just you. going full skin? <laughs> Thank you though. But look, okay, so let's open a you want to open a restaurant. It would just be what? Cucumber? <laughs> <laughs> what would it be? I make a bomb ass salad, dude. I'm telling you, salads are off the charts. Well, Chop Shop exists. Yeah. Well, a salad. <laughs> Yo, a salad bar, the restaurant. Welcome to <laughs> Mendocino Farm. No, but what you do is you don't get, make it a bar. We're not talking about a la carte. We're talking about a salad and the way I like it, which is basically... You're talking about hey, salad bar? Look, spinach, arugula, whole tomatoes cut in big-ass oh, chunks. God. Let me give you your oh, slogan. Oh, God. Black beans, banana peppers hot, banana peppers hey, sweet. Let me give you your slogan. Yeah! Listen, 
motherfucking cucumbers. Player put some olive oil, and then player put some let, salt, and then player put some pepper. Let me and that's give it. you that's your done. slogan. I'm trying to help. Okay. I just told you what it is, man. Okay. Yes. Trying to help your dumb ass. <laughs> your slogan is it's Car- Carl Salad Bar. Come for the salad. Leave with the canes next door, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, yay. Wow, you didn't let me get my shit out for that. For that. Wow. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead and list your ingredients again, motherfucker. People have shit to do. Banana peppers. Olives. Oh, I'm sorry, Anders. I must have left my mask in the car. Get your ass over here, motherfucker. <laughs> What's the dressing? What's the dressing? Because uh, we're coming for the dressing. The dressing is olive oil, salt, and pepper. You said olive oil. Olive oil. Oh, my God. That's not dressing. That's pre-dressing. Yeah, it is. It's so fucking good. No, that's the shit. That's all you need. I learned that shit. That's just how you get the lettuce wet, dude. Hey, so Kyle, I guess you explained uh, the most... That's how you do it in Italy. I learned that shit in Italy, bro. This ain't Italy, brother. That's how you explain the most basic salad that you specifically like. We're talking... Didn't you hear it has spinach? Oh, it does have spinach and arugula like every other goddamn salad you've ever had? I fucking love it, dude. I don't need... I eat it, like, every day. I fucking love it. What is setting you apart? Everyone likes it. It's fine. What is setting you apart? That, dude, that was the most basic-ass salad I've ever heard in my life, dude. We need skin. For real. That's what I'm saying. You guys are talking about basic-ass shit that is good. That's what you're talking about. No, we're talking about the best of the basic. Best of the Canes. basics. We're- and whatever's in the receipt, whatever's in their receipt... Is good. Absolutely not. <laughs> You're talking about a chicken nugget. No, we're not talking. Oh, you don't know nothing. You don't know nothing, dude. I mean, I'm not trying to bash it. I'm just talking like you saying. You, you. Oh, we're talking about nuggets, dude. They're tenders. Also, what's so good about it? The sauce. I can contribute on the sauce like dude. no other motherfucker can. I got a secret motherfucking sauce that y'all don't even know about. All I'm saying, Kyle, is get your. I've had it. I've had it. And how good is it, Blake? How good is my low quap barbecue <laughs> sauce? It's it's good. Thank you. Oh, Wait, what? I see. Your what? Low quap barbecue <laughs> sauce, bro. What does that mean? What does that mean? And what do you put it on? You ever heard of a low quat or you too busy eating nuggets? It's a fruit based. <laughs> it's a fruit based. <laughs> tenders. Tenders. I've never heard I've never heard of a low quat, so blow my mind. Thank you. So look at that. I just brought the motherfucking ingredient, dog. That doesn't make it good because he hasn't heard of it. So what is it? Dude, you know it's good, Blake. I don't it appreciate this. You sent it me a tasty. picture of you fucking drinking that shit. I don't Do- appreciate you taking their side. I did not send a picture of me drinking it. That's some <laughs> bullshit. I smell a take back. You sent a picture of, oh, it's all gone after one fucking helping, bruh. It's a small helping. Yeah, because it wasn't, it, it, he had to drown out the disgusting salad with, uh, with whatever dressing. Whatever he made was on him. I just gave him the bomb ass sauce. So if y'all want a partner. And you're putting this on like Beyond Meat or what? What are you putting this barbecue sauce on? I put it on Beyond Meat. I put it on Impossible Meat. I throw it on fucking salads if I really want to dance. Matt Beyond Meat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. Matt Beyond Meat. That's a swim oh, reference. Yes, a home no. I'm just saying, dude. Y'all don't discount me because I'll come with the fire no matter where, what corner I'm shoved in. <laughs> All right, Kyle. Jesus All right. Christ, dude. Jesus All I'm Christ. saying is, hey, get your ass to... I think we just got kyle That's not Kyle, bro. I'm Charles. A Raisin Cane's. They're delicious. And me, Blake, and Anders will franchise our own Raisin Cane's. Yes, you And go- that's okay. And look, if you want a salad stand outside of the Canes... You don't need to be involved talk. in this business venture that we have all verbally agreed. You can park your salad RV in our Canes parking lot, and we won't shoot you I'm out. I'm so down with this. Yeah. Kyle's RV salad sounds off the chain. Hey, and then we could say, you want that healthy shit? Take it outside. I'm so down with this. I love it. I love it. <laughs> You want to change the game with your salad? Skin croutons. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yummy. You, hey, now I'm in. Blake is joking, but KFC is about to launch that. Bro, they have like dope, dope ass like onion onion croutons you could throw on there, and they're fucking good. You're you're, on, you're hey, right. Skin tons. Raising Cane's boys, what sodas do they carry? Ooh. Sodas? They're a Coca-Cola company. Coca-Cola products? Coca-Cola products, yeah. I, I just had a delicious Coke Zero. 
and that syrup mm-hmm. hit just right. You mm-hmm. know how every once in a while you'll get a fountain drink and just that syrup mix is ooey gooey, and you're like, God yes. damn, this is hitters. I had a Sprite this weekend that f- jizzed me out. Boy. Boy. And if you don't know what that means... <laughs> Dude, I was jizzed out, too. I was fully jizzed out. If y'all know what that means, <laughs> g- Google it. Yeah, just so Google it. Out. Look at photos, look at videos, and you'll understand exactly what we mean by jizzed out. Sprite jizzed out. You got one of those Travis Scott meal Sprites that just straight oh up. God. I love it. How are people going to McDonald's and getting this shit? Uh, it's weird. Blake, you're my cool hip friend. Okay. Uh, is Travis Scott, like, super family friendly? Well, he's Kardashian camp, so yeah, he's he's worldwide, like for sure. What do you mean family friendly? That's not a you mean music wise. That's not a thing anymore. There's no such thing as family. Friendly. Yeah. Well, no, because they're Disney's or sorry, uh, McDonald's whole thing is is being very family friendly forever. I mean, they're Ronald McDonald. They're the whole thing. Their last uh, person that they had a celebrity endorsement for was Michael Jordan. Hmm. Yeah, no, I so, mean, I mean, like, and he was like at the time before we learned out he was learned that he was kind of an asshole. He was like the most family friendly guy of all time. He's like a sports hero. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then for them to go with Travis Scott, who I know very little about, but I was like, oh, maybe he like doesn't curse in his. Uh, maybe he's like Will Smith or something. I just don't know. I don't think kids fuck with McDonald's. I think kids think McDonald's is gross and unhealthy, and McDonald's needed a shot in the arm with the youngsters. Oh, I don't think that. Kids love McDonald's, dude. I mean, kids love yeah. Happy Meals, dude. I don't know, dude. You think so? No, but there's alternatives now. There's better There's better alternatives now that market it better towards kids. And no, like- I, think, I think little... I think we live in L.A., and th- people are like, oh, there's healthier alternatives, but I know. But, like, Five Guys popped off. The kids back home go to Five Guys, dude. They don't fuck with McDonald's. McDonald's is sorry. That's kind of tight. Yeah, but there's no ball There's no ball pit at the Five Guys. Well, I don't think the play place is holding any water anymore, man. Yeah. They do. Well, not in COVID, but kids, kids go off. You bring a kid to a McDonald's, sit Happy Meal in front of them, they are fucking hyped. Yeah. yeah. Still the toys. For real? The toy still pulls weight? They're still, hey, they're still the toys. Dude, my parents took my kid when he was two, and he still talks about it. And when he drives by it, he's like, that's the McDonald's. I'm like, I know, bitch. You're going to in and out <laughs> Damn. Rough well, ass dad right there. Yeah, I don't fuck around. With that said, <laughs> I I don't think like Travis Scott is on wax like gang banging. You know, he's not like a like a considered a gang member or whatever. And what do you mean on wax gang banging? Like he's not he's not a he's not a gangster for me to understand. He's not a gangster. He's no. not rapping about. No, his ki- name is Travis. Yeah, he's. He is a product. I I do think it is an odd pairing. Like, yeah, well, how did they come to that? But I just think it's Kardashian trickle down, dude. They yeah. mm-hmm. they run. The I world. want Lamar Odom to uh, work with Hardee's or a Car- <laughs> Carl's Jr. <laughs> I'm down. The Lamar Odom taco. The Hard Lamar Odom pink taco. <laughs> <laughs> was it his thing didn't he get caught like with boner pills uh didn't he have like a heart attack or something horrible at like uh, a whorehouse he had several he had a rough go he had a rough go yeah he's he's been uh, i mean that is going out with a bang where you just overload yourself on cocaine and uh, dick pills and just go to the whorehouse until your heart explodes Gee, that is. is allegedly that <laughs> is that is going out with a bang. I mean, that that's the best. If you're going to commit suicide, like if you're like, you know what? Fuck it. This is the end. Don't jump off a bridge or just OD in a fucking alleyway or some. Dude, hit the ranch. Do do it all and hit the ranch, baby. Yeah, guys, I'd let So give me a Kyle salad and, uh, <laughs> and a blonde. Hey, man, I'm just trying to live to triple digits. That's my only goal. Is it really? That's your only goal. Is to your only goal? No, you said only. That's a big goal for me right now. That's a big main goal. Yeah, mm-hmm. I heard only to live. Why? Why do you want to live on this dumb fucking planet till you're a hundred? I want out. I want out now. A hundred. One hundred. Kyle, do you know how hot Southern California is going to be in in sixty years, seventy years? I'm down, dude. 
I'm down. I'm I'm looking for it. You know what I mean? I figure why not? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Hey, this is why we love you. Uh, yeah, sure. Y'all don't agree? Y'all don't agree? No, I don't. But this is why we love What's you. What's your number then? What are you going to live till? 150. <laughs> That's tight. I'm down. I'll be there with you. I won't die. But I want to be like <laughs> online. I want to be like a, an entity in a hard drive. You're Ooh. already you're already there. Nah, I bet I'm going to die the first out of all of us. Yeah. You think so? Yeah, probably. Uh, because That's you're gonna go on one of those cocaine fuck benders at the way. <laughs> yeah, I might go on a classic cocaine fuck bender. Yeah, pull a LO. Yeah. Adam's bachelor party's coming up. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, yeah, time for the heart to explode. Uh, oh boy. No, I would say, yeah, I think I just run a little hot and I've already had a lot of health issues with my legs and stuff. I'm gonna be in a wheelchair probably before anybody else, and that'll nice. that'll bum me out, and I'll be like Hey, let's just launch me off the Golden Gate Bridge and see if I can get this uh, parachute to work. Oops, I didn't. He was. <laughs> that would be so tight. <laughs> Some kind of YouTube live Eaten special. De- yeah, Adam's yeah. in a death by Quibi for sure. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a good Quibisode. You know what? I did. I was saying this to Blake when we were shark diving. I was saying to Blake that like you've cheated death before, so like you 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 need to like kiss death. And that's why you fucking jump out of airplanes and go fucking uh, demolition derby and shark diving and all that shit. Because you've cheated it before. You can cheat it again. Yep. yep. It's a free solo attitude. He's really hard to kill. Hard to kill. Great movie. Oh, nine lives. Meow. <laughs> oh, shit. What are you at? What? Movie idea. If you had nine lives. Wait, wait, real quick. Because I know we've all had like moments where like. You're f- you've had some kind of drunken night or whatever, like or or a close call. Like, what do you think you're at as far as your nine lives? Do you think Whoa. you're like five deep? Have there been close calls outside of the close calls? Uh, ain't my thing. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, outside of the cement truck. <laughs> yeah, well, for me, yes, I am. I OD'd on Quaaludes when I was two. Mm-hmm. Uh, right, tight, famously. And, yeah, and so that 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 was. I went to. My mom took me to her neighbor's house because her neighbor was having issues with her boyfriend, sat me down on the couch. She was talking with the woman, trying to calm her down. Turns out she, she was having issues with her boyfriend because she caught her boyfriend dealing drugs. Mm. Meanwhile, I'm on this couch, the couch that I ended up having and sleeping on for years because they gave us a couch because I almost died on it. But uh, whoa, I was on the sitting on the couch and my mom was like, Adam, what do you got in your mouth? And she turns around and I'm like being all naughty faced, you know, I was like, what? No, nothing. But I'm like a little kid, so I'm not saying words. Right. And I just have a mouthful of stuff. I love how you remember that from two. And uh, I was like, what? Nothing. And uh, well, this is just for what my mom said. Right. And then, uh, and then I like wouldn't give her what was in my mouth and I had swallowed a bunch of it or whatever. And she finally like grips a hold of my face and opens up my mouth and fishes out these pills and then she looks and in the crevice of the the couch where i had like stuffed something was a half empty bag of pills and this guy had a bag a baggie of quaaludes yeah and then uh (laughs) yeah and then uh uh some guy showed up at the house and was looking for the boyfriend obviously to buy drugs my mom thinks it's an angel and uh, mm. my mom's like, you have to take to the hospital. And the guy's like, oh, okay. And then he takes them the wrong way and doesn't stop at a hospital, stops at a CVS or whatever it was called at the time, you know, a pharmacy. Right. And he goes in, gets Epicac, comes right out. I puke oh, all over his knows. truck, takes me to a hospital. And they were like, oh, if he would have died or if he wouldn't, he probably wouldn't have made it all the way to the hospital. It was good that he puked before then. Yeah, the guy you know, knew that you needed to get it out of your system. Yeah. And my mom's like, he's an, he's an angel. And hey, I think I remember this. Was he wearing a white hat or something? Yeah, that's what my mom says. He's wearing a white cowboy hat. Oh, right. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And my mom's like, he was, because uh, we were in Oklahoma City at the time, and I guess people wore cowboy hats there in the 80s. And, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> And then he still sent it. And my mom's like, he's an angel. My dad's like, sounds like he's a drug addict. <laughs> yeah. The fact that he knows how to exactly. Yeah. You go to the pharmacy, you get Ipecac, they cough it up. It's no problem. Yes. Yeah. They, they puke That's it up great. right away. Totally. Totally. But thankfully he had that knowledge otherwise, you know, so Dude. that's cool. The Walmart was, or Walgreens was like, you're back. Yeah. 
Epic yeah. hack. Hey, hey, phone yeah, hey Kyle. <laughs> I'll, I'll take another. Thank you. Uh, this It's a baby, actually, this time. It's a baby, this one. I'll That's see you next week. So that means that means you're on seven, at least. Damn. With that and you're the, and the truck. You're getting up. No, they, those are each one. Those are two. But it's a seven. Look. Those are those two, dude. Yes, yeah, so you got you got nine lives minus two. Oh, so I have seven lives. Copy oh, that. left, left. Copy okay. that. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah so I'd say that's. Me. And then other calls that are like close, but nothing as far as as that extreme. Yeah, as far as you know. Damn. Yeah, as far as I know, I probably come closer <laughs> to death uh, standing on something I wasn't supposed to than yeah, I should have. As, as far as you know, I've definitely woke. I woke up in my truck like fucking. After a really drunk night, and that is a scary feeling. Having like just been like, oh well, no, that story is extra scary. Because remember, you woke up in your truck uh, in the parking lot of a gun store. Yeah, dude, we had just. <laughs> yeah, like, I was trying to leave out that detail, but no, uh, I totally had forgot that actually. But we had huh. just filmed there for was workaholics, it? and uh, yeah, we were like, uh, so I kind of think that that's why I went there was because you were scouting. I was uh, location scouting. <laughs> yeah, because in my drunk lizard brain, I was like, I know where to go. But I truly don't remember going there. And I woke up having pissed myself in the driver's seat outside of a gun store. <laughs> yeah. And that was a scary moment where I was like, okay, something's got to give here. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah give up fuck? driving. No more driving. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was before Ubers, man. I'm often like jealous of what Ubers yeah. provided. <laughs> Speaking of pre-Uber, when me and Blake were leaving uh, Barney's Beanery one time, which is like a, you know, a classic dive bar uh, in Hollywood. And it was right when we had turned 21 and we would go there and uh, like buy a pitcher of beer and then also like have sodas and mix our own booze into the soda. But we got really fucked up one night and mm -hmm. I was driving us home and it was just pre Uber and we we're like, Oh, I can't afford a taxi. Uh. And then we drive out and I rear end someone as mm -hmm. we were leaving, mm -hmm. as we were like that first red light. It wasn't, red, a, it wasn't a, a super hard rear end. No, it wasn't. But, it was uh, just like a, uh, my reaction time's a little slow and I didn't hit the brake. But it was like it happened and we were like, fuck. It did happen. And I put it in park and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> and I get out of the car and I'm like, I'm so sorry, man. And he goes, did you just leave Barney's Beanery? And I'm like, uh-huh. And he goes, you've been drinking? And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, me too. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, I just told that story the other day. It's amazing. Yes, and that look, was I, I don't want to advocate for drunk driving no, that's at a all. Uber. We have so no, many I mean, options at now. all. But now you it can is definitely the, get a car. It is the most fun thing possible. <laughs> oh my god! It feels when the, when the windows are down and you're just like gunning what? it, and your senses are heightened. It is amazing. Driving on expert. No, it's yeah. uh we used to have to go from Hollywood to Van Nuys and I would like get nervous cuz I'd have one eye closed and like driving it's terrible. And Alleged allegedly. Well, that's a that's a far drive well, too. Yeah. That's not a you roll down yeah. the hill. So so that's I had terrible. pit stops along the way and they were called Carl's Jr. and I would just hit the drive through. I mean, yeah. I would hit like 3 of them on the way home and oh just gorge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Uh -huh. Bro, I mean it's that's real. That's Did real. they still put the little cookie around the straw? Was that them? The cookie around that? the straw? Like Or was what? that in and out? Who puts a little cookie, the little whole cookie, the little co little sugar cookie around the straw? I don't know. That sounds amazing. Dude, I do bro. not know what know. you're talking about. Hey, if you're about, listening out there right now, go ahead and tweet me who uh the well to straw. You know what though? If nobody's done that, we could put that in our own franchise yes. if we come up with something original. Salad and sugar cookies. Yeah, we're doing that when we all buy a raising canes franchise together. Unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to do that because you have to follow the rules when you franchise something. So Oh man. Salad and sugar cookies. That is that is true, but also try to catch me, corporate. America, <laughs> you're about to get sued, <laughs> biatch. Yeah, right, okay, dude. Kyle <laughs> fucking ra the raising us, canes bro. guys are gonna love us. Oh, my idea is looking better and better, isn't it? Bye. <laughs> Arugula? I don't know, man. Uh, I don't mm. know. Welcome to Arugula. No, no, you guys handle the meat. <laughs> Arugula's bomb, by the way. This is important. I do not like arugula. I would say it's my least favorite leaf. Cause it like flicks the dressing on you when you try and like take it out of the pile. Yeah, it's like it's fucked up, bro. But it has the, such a great natural spice. What do you mean? <laughs> hey, this is important. Kyle.
Fuck you. <laughs> this is important. <laughs> Does anyone have any uh, take backs, <laughs> apologies, or compliments from today? Wow. Oh, man. Hey, I feel like I go. have a million fuck yous. Well, you know, I'd like to... I'd like to take back what I just said just one second ago. The last thing I just said. I said, Kyle, and then I paused, and then I said, fuck you. <laughs> and that was rude. And that was rude. And I don't mean it. And I love Kyle, and I don't want to fuck him. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I, I don't. You have to. I don't want to. I have to. I need to. <laughs> and so I, I'd like to take that back because that was a rude thing to say. I'm sorry, Kyle. Mm -hmm. hey, and arugula is a bad uh Leaf, it's a bad name for a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Your whole idea for a restaurant is bad. And our idea huh. about and just starting a Raising Cane's franchise <laughs> is better. But I do want to apologize and take back saying, Kyle, okay. fuck mm -hmm. you. Yeah, right. And I want to compliment Adam on yeah. keeping it real wow. AF with a good friend of his. Because, wow. you know, tough love mm -hmm. um, is still love. It is love. Um, oh, yeah. And I want to apologize to Kyle. If you don't want to call... Uh, the the male Karen's Kyle, uh, we don't have to, but it can't be Chad. It's it can't be Chad Todd. I, but, I would throw out there, no, but it's it's okay. yeah, it's but fine. Kyle I'm, works the best. It's all good. It's all because good. of the Karen. Yeah, I'm yeah. I I'm okay with it. You take it back then. Is that a take back or is that no? Just... I changed my name to Charles. Charles Javacek. I'm That's all great. good. Thank yeah. you, Charles. <laughs> no problem. Are you opening a Java? hut or something yeah, it could be part of my own original franchise but you know i'll be doing my own thing it looks like but i would like to compliment all of you on uh sticking it to me and uh you know really really giving me a run for my money because i am the kind of guy that likes to be put in a corner and fight my way out of it so yeah i think our yeah. <laughs> i He's think a our friend squirrel i <laughs> i <laughs> i'm still gonna send it no matter what corner you put me in man <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, like, you guys provide a great game for me to try and get out of the corner, and I love you all, despite <laughs> how fucking mean you are to me sometimes. Jesus Christ, what oh a long-winded take I got back more. I have more. Jesus. I'd like to also... <laughs> <laughs> Woof. Uh, all right, like, do you got anything? Uh, I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't know if I'm t taking back or apologizing or whatever, but guys, drinking and driving is so serious. Please don't do it. it there's so many options out hey, there. You can Lyft now. You can Lyft, Uber now. Uber, yeah. taxi. Uh, a good friend of yours can drive you. Do you yes. guys know what I do? You know what I do? I Lyft now. <laughs> that's, a, uh, yeah, that's my version. I Uber now. <laughs> Hey guys, this was a re <laughs> really, <laughs> really fun episode of This, this is, is important. important. And it was important.